What's good everybody? Welcome back to Whole Views and today we talk about the season finale of Hawkeye. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't so far. Help us to grow to that goal of 1,000 subscribers. We're on the on the right track. We're on the road to that direction. Uh, we've crossed 700. We're trying to do better. Continue to help us to grow. Talking about this week's episode, the finale of Hawkeye, I must say that overall this episode felt like a very weak finale in comparison to the other finales that we got from the Marvel shows. Uh, I think about Captain America and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, that whole wrap up, you know, the way that thing went. I feel like that one was a little bit more ceremonious. There felt like a serious transition there. I think about the end of Loki, it left you on a very much a cliffhanger, like not knowing exactly where uh, things were gonna go and how this was gonna affect the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, you think about WandaVision and you think about the implications that's going to like stand for her with the Mar Multiverse of Madness with the Doctor Strange 2 movie. We've already seen that trailer. We've seen uh, the most recent Spider-Man movie. So it's like there's a lot of different conclusions that were come to. But when it comes to Hawkeye, I guess maybe the smaller scale of the show, this finale felt like they wrapped up all the little storylines for the most part. But there was no real greater jumping off point. Uh, I know Kate Bishop might be a thing moving forward. I don't know how much of her I necessarily want to see. It, she was cool, uh, but I feel like she works best in tandem with Hawkeye. I don't believe she's meant to replace uh, the Natasha Romanoff character. It, at the beginning of the show, I really felt like this show is going to be the transitioning out of Hawkeye, you know, showing his age, showing uh, the injuries and everything else. I thought for certain. Uh, this would be transitioning Kate to take his place. And I still don't feel like she's there, even though she grew a lot as a character throughout the course of the show. I think that this final episode really mended the relationship and solidified the relationship between Hawkeye and Kate, showing how he trained her with the trick arrows and how he made some of them. And she may be able to like use some of her own skills to make that happen, uh, as well as fighting side by side with her, showing that she's just as capable as he is maybe not as strong, maybe not as uh, well versed when it comes to having the, the upstairs knowledge. I'm sure she's not, but she did hold her own and that was impressive in its own. I did not care for the wrap up of the Kingpin storyline. I do like the way that the Kingpin really handled Kate Bishop throughout her entire fight. She tried everything and it really was up to those trick arrows to kind of help save her skin because there's no way that she could do anything that would damage him. If we've seen the Daredevil shows, like he went to the extreme with Daredevil and uh, there's no way that Kate could have stood and, and either took that punishment or given out any level of punishment that could have phased him. So I really like that, but I did not like Maya catching him in the alley. Now we do know uh, there was a gunshot off screen and if we don't see a death, then the death didn't happen. And that is where I'm going to leave it. I do hope that we could see more Kingpin moving forward, maybe he grabbed the gun, maybe he just ate the bullet because it seemed like he ate an arrow to the chest. So, um, I don't know, man, maybe maybe we can get more Kingpin. I hope that's not a wrap up of his storyline because if it is, that's very unceremonious, a very unceremonious exit uh, for Vincent, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio and, and his Kingpin. I wanna see more of his Kingpin moving forward. Very glad to see Clint make it home for Christmas. Very glad to see Clint and Yelena makeup. Those were the two favorite things that I got to see outside of the action and, and the wrap up of the other storylines. I feel like Yelena taking a moment to actually breathe and see Clint grieve and see that it, you know, they really were close. He, he had nothing to do with her death. Uh, it was a great thing to see. Uh, I really hope that it helps Yelena's character move forward and she doesn't stay on the outskirts. I hope this helps to bring her into the fold of the MCU and help her to like work with Avengers and show up in more because she's such a good fold for all the serious stuff that goes on. She keeps a straight face. She's a good straight man uh, in in funny situations. So I, I really like her moving forward. I wanna have her around. His kids made such a big deal out of him making it back for Christmas. And the fact that he pulled up and they say, hey, you kept your promise. Like, yes, yeah, so let's wrap up that. Let's have him do something that's meaningful for his family. Cause the family was such a big pivotal part of the story starting off. Glad that it wrapped up really, really well. It was a decent finale. I'm not saying it wasn't good, but it was uh, to me just a little bit lower tier than the rest of the shows. I thought 
we get some more transition and like some bigger moments and just a little bit more weight. I, I, I mentioned to my producer, you know, when I was about halfway through the episode, I mentioned to him that it feels a lot more family friendly and a lot more kitty than I imagined it. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, you have the Ronan character, in it, which is the darker side of Hawkeye, but then in this one, you have just plain Hawkeye and you have the, in the, you got Jack at the end with the sword, you know, swinging the sword and slicing people up. It's like, that's being made light of, but like he's slashing, he's slashing people. Like that's, that's a lot. You also have the LARPers, like they showed up in costume and they had a little funny moment. It's like, I would have preferred y'all not to get dressed up to do anything special. Uh, y'all really kind of, their presence in costume really kind of brought things down for me. Not a huge amount, but you know, it made it more family friendly, more jokey. You're taking some stakes out of things when you put y'all in costume and have y'all walk up in slow motion. Like it's, it's just a little bit, you de-escalate the situation, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like you bring down the stakes a bit because nothing's gonna happen to y'all. We know that. Um, even though there was a lot of guns present, there was a lot of fighting. I would figure, you know, hey, let's put some people in jeopardy, but they didn't. It didn't seem like anybody was truly in jeopardy. The stakes were lowered with their presence to me. Overall, though, again, still, it was it was a cool episode, good episode, but just not as big as I might have wanted. What about you? Do you feel like this episode was everything you wanted? Uh, did the wrap up of the series land for you? Uh, did you feel like this Hawkeye series kind of measures up to the rest of the other MCU series that we've gotten on Netflix? I kind of put it at the bottom of the list. Not saying that it's bad, but just like, mm, I think there were some other ones that were better. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That's all I have. Enjoy yourself, guard your heart, subscribe, and check out more videos.